Samsung has loads to prove after an explosive 2016. Fortunately the company's new Galaxy A series of phones could be the perfect pick-me-up before its next big reveal at Mobile World Congress in a few months. The new A3, A5 and A7 sport ridiculously good looks inherited from the flagship Samsung Galaxy S7. They also come loaded with IP68 dust and water resistance. While the A5 and A7 sport similar features with their front and rear 16 megapixel cameras, the A3 takes a slight hit with a 13 megapixel rear and front 8 megapixel shooter. If selfies are just too much work for you, Samsung has also tweaked its camera UI to introduce a free floating shutter button you can drag around the screen. That'll make it easier than ever to take pictures of your face. I spent some time with the A5 and A7 and came away impressed with the quality of the phones. They feel as good as high-end flagships, thanks to their metal frames and glass rears. How about specs? 4.7-inch HD display, A3, 5.2-inch Full HD display, A5, 5.7-inch Full HD display, A7. Android 6.0, all. USB Type-C, all. Micros support up to 256 gigabytes, all. Available in black, gold or peach. Inside, the phones sport a lower-end Exynos processor. That's equivalent to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 600 series, though we'll need to do some proper benchmarking tests to see which chip is better. One last thing to note, the phone comes with Android Marshmallow 6.01, not the latest Nougat update. This may not be a big deal but Samsung couldn't confirm when the phones will be updated. The new phones are set to hit Europe and Asia first, with no word just yet on when they'll be available stateside. In Singapore, the A5 and A7 will sell 548 Singapore dollars, approximately $380. 310 pounds or 520 Australian dollars, and 648 Singapore dollars, or around 450 dollars, 365 pounds and 615 Australian dollars. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more gadget info and give me feedback on the comments.